Welcome to our Business School interview series. I'm with uh, Leo Petrosian, a second year student at the Anderson School of Management at uh, UCLA. Leo, thank you very much for being with us. It's a pleasure, thank you. Um, already a doctor, certainly you have your PhD behind you, but um, wanted to add an MBA. Can you describe a little bit of your background and how you ended up here at Anderson? Absolutely. So my background is purely engineering and science. So I did two undergraduate degrees, electrical and biomedical engineering. I went to graduate school and studied biomolecular nanotechnology. Well, after graduate school, I went to Silicon Valley, and then I joined a biotech startup out of Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. I spent four years there as the technical lead, and my role there was to deliver a technology product to the management. The management told me what to build and what they needed, and I went and executed on that. And that was very rewarding for me personally, because I got the pleasure of an engineer, which is to see your product become a reality. But ultimately, the technology was not what determined if the business was going to be successful. It was the business strategy, the business model, right? It was everything outside, away from the technology, that determined whether the venture was going to be successful. I discovered that I enjoy being in startups, and that for me to be a successful entrepreneur in the long term, I needed to have a more holistic view of entrepreneurship and operating a new venture. So that's why I chose to come back to UCLA Anderson to earn my MBA, was to round out my education and expand beyond being just a pure technologist to being an entrepreneur all around. Was it important that the business school was part of a, a bigger a university institution? For me personally, yes. Um, my entrepreneurial technique is to license technologies from universities. The last startup company I was at licensed technology from Brown University. Previously, I'd been part of startup companies that had licensed technology from Harvard and Cornell. Most people don't know this, but universities have hundreds if not thousands of patents that are available for license, and good research universities really have some wonderful inventions. So I chose back to come back to UCLA because they have an amazing medical program here, and I'm interested in medical, medical technology entrepreneurship, so I came here to look for that. Uh, as an entrepreneur, it's very important to work in an ecosystem in a community where people are there to help you, where you have access to the inventors, you have access to the entrepreneurs and the other angel investors in the community. When I visited other schools, there was a little bit of cultural things that made it uh, less open, while when I visited UCLA Anderson, people were very willing to help me, show me the way everybody I spoke to had a suggestion for me. They're like, you should talk to this person, I'll introduce you to this person. It wasn't, oh, that's nice, I'm doing this. It's, how can I help you? And that was very, very quick. The other thing is that UCLA is an amazing research university, and they have a, an initiative to get the technology that's developed here commercialized, and so they're working very hard to open up their patents to entrepreneurs that are interested, making the introductions to the inventors, and helping facilitate the commercialization of technology. And then in regards to the talent, every great school has, with a great engineering program, will also have great talented engineers, and that was really important for bringing a venture to life. Now, you're actually working on a, on a project right now that perhaps uh, draws on the business skills that you've been developing. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So the company I'm working on right now is called Neural Analytics. Um, we're developing a technology for non-invasively measuring something called intracranial pressure. Intracranial pressure is a symptom, uh, elevated intracranial pressure is a symptom of numerous neurologic uh, disorders, but one major one is traumatic brain injury. Uh, traumatic brain injury can lead to an elevation in intracranial pressure. But unfortunately, the current method for measurement requires a neurosurgeon to drill a hole into a patient's skull. Well, the researchers at the Department of Neurosurgery at UCLA, one of the best neurosurgery programs in the country, have developed a non-invasive alternative. My co-founders and I are licensing that technology and trying to bring it to market where we can have an impact on the quality of care and the cost of care for a large patient population. In co-founding the project, are you conscious of using the business skills that you're picking up during the MBA? Absolutely. Um, it's easy to fall into the mentality of a technologist. A technologist inherently and an engineer sees something sparkly and something that works and wants to make it for themselves. But oftentimes what you want to build does not match what people are willing to buy and pay for. My favorite class at business school, I, I had no idea coming in, was going to be marketing. I loved marketing because it was the class that taught me that what you build may not be what people want. And you have to figure out what people want and need and deliver that to them. And that should dictate where you go, not what's personally interesting to you. Other than that, various other skills come into, obviously, financial planning, projections, P&Ls, come into any sort of startup venture, the ability to present yourself, talk intelligibly about your subject, and doing the industry research behind it, and to build a project, st project management style plan to execute on your vision. All these skills have been very invaluable. Uh, I 
could not have made as much progress as we, we've made as a team without the foundation that business school has given me. Is it a challenge to be an entrepreneur within business school and perhaps eager to get out <coughs> into, into the bigger world? Uh, yes and no. It's challenging, yet incredibly rewarding. Right? As with all things in life, the more challenging they are, it's probably worth it. Uh, it's difficult because as a student, uh, as a lifelong student, I'd like to say that I care about my grades, I work really hard toward them, but the truth is they've taken a back seat to my entrepreneurship. Every time I have doubts about my grades or how much I'm focusing on my studies, I look back at my uh, application essays. It doesn't say I'm coming to business school to get straight A's. I, it says I'm coming to business school because I want to start a medical device company. And therefore, with that knowledge in mind, I, I go out and I execute. I execute as well as I can in my venture, and I do as much as I need to do to be a good student. Right, while still absorbing all the information I need to absorb. Have there been any um, unexpected surprises along the way? Absolutely. So to get our business off the ground, we entered a lot of business plan competitions. Uh, we did poorly in many and well in others. Uh, one of the, uh, the most fruitful ones was a competition known as the Mass Challenge, which is the largest business plan competition in the world, that there was a sidecar that was put on by the Center for Advancement of Science and Space, which is the organization that manages the International Space Station. Uh, we ended up winning that prize from Cases, and along with that prize, they're actually going to send our prototype of our medical device to the International Space Station to test on astronauts while they're in flight, uh, because this is a problem that astronauts face while in space also. Anderson is a competitive school to get into. Uh, would you have any advice for the admissions process? So for, this is advice for all business school applicants to all business schools. Know thyself and know thy school. First of all, Socrates said, know thyself. Know what's important to you. Know what you really want to do. Don't think, uh, don't think shallow about what you sort of wish you want to do, but take a deep dive. This is a transformative experience, right? So decide what are you going to transform yourself into. A lot of weight is put on statistics. A lot of people look at the rankings and say, I want to go to a top school. But hey, school number one through seven might not be the right fit for you. School number 10 might be better fit for you, or 14 or 19, whoever it may be, might be the place that helps you cocoon and grow into the butterfly of your career that you want. Right? So my advice would be work very hard, do a lot of research, visit the schools, make sure that you know why you're applying to a school other than they're high ranked. That is not a good enough reason to apply to a school in my mind. Well, Leo, thank you very much and good luck with the, with the project and for the remainder of your studies. Thank you very much. Thank you sincerely.